Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. You guys remember whenever I used to video inside, the dogs would go crazy? Well, that hasn't changed. It's a Ruby who's like, pay attention to me. Poor girl. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyways, welcome to today's video. I'm just headed outside. But I wanted to show you somebody that Sam knows. Ruby. Dog never jumps up on me, ever. Ever. Anyway, somebody that Sam knows is um, was giving away these cases of hand sanitizer. So Sam went and got some. So uh, these are tiny ones, and I thought they would be so good for putting in our tack boxes, putting in our trailer. It's individual sized hand sanitizers. I love them. And then he was also getting rid of big ones. So we could keep them in the barn. We're always using these. We use these so often. You guys probably already know, but hand sanitizer is so handy to have around. Get it? Hand sanitizer, handy to get around, have around. I'm excited about that. And we'll probably give some to our friends because everybody can use those. I'm not like a germaphobe or anything, but you know what it's like, especially like when you're cleaning your horse, especially in the winter, we'll probably give some to our barn because they could use it. How was chores? <laughs> the dogs are wild. Okay, have a shower. Sophie does the chicken chores. <laughs> Do I feel mean? Kind of. But I hate chicken chores. Like, I'm not even joking. It always makes me laugh when I just look out here randomly and I see that. <laughs> I see a big fat pig walking by. Like, I looked out this window and I just saw... Posey walking by. Anyways, I like to let the turkeys out each morning because even though, I don't know, it's just small in there. Come on, turkeys. You can come out and ducks. Come on, over into this section. Get over there. Come on, everybody out. Sophie and I discovered that if we, uh, oh wait, there's a turkey in there. That's gotta get out. Come on out, Ruby. So if we discovered that if we lock everybody in to certain areas, we can leave this door open and it really helps because then it's like a cross breeze in there. This is my first aid kit, you guys, remember? I painted this little thing and set it all up with all my stuff that we don't hardly use anymore now that we don't have Chino. Isn't it crazy how like one horse can use all this stuff? I have all my special stuff in here that my friend sent, the cloud boots. I kept them in here and then I have like our boots that we use for cold for cold soaking got all my standing wraps and stuff like that all my drugs my first aid kit some peroxide got all the bandages and all the syringes and you know, all the stuff but anyway this is where i put a bunch of the hand sanitizer sam got so whenever we need it we can just come here grab it and move it to whatever part of the barn we need it in knock on wood we haven't wait knock on wood i better knock on wood we haven't had a single like abscess or anything like that ever since last summer like it's been please god don't don't strike me down but it's been a really healthy healthy year for us um our farrier is coming <laughs> you would think that i would clean this area way before somebody comes over but the farrier is coming this week so i'm just gonna come out here and clean up a bit but look at sophie if you're watching this sophie doesn't watch the vlogs but sophie you need to sweep after every ride man and i really 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 want to come back here behind where we keep everything and clean this out this is like just our household storage stuff i want to clean it out and get rid of everything that we haven't used because i just want to get everything cleaned up that will be a fall job like this thing i think sam should sell it or maybe not but literally we bought it and then never used it not even one single time this is our inside chicken brooder sam got this thing on a whim because it's heated and you can use it outside I don't know if we're ever going to use it, but I'm going to keep it because I feel like we're going to have a purpose for it. If we don't have a purpose for it this winter, we'll get rid of it. All right, so we are mostly cleaned up now. There's a lot more cleaning that needs to get done, but I just like to sweep and kind of make big enough space for her because things just get pushed everywhere in here. <laughs> That's why Ellie has muscles. Good old Ruby, just standing with me. Yeah, you just love me, don't you? Ruby loves me. I don't even know why, but she picked me. So now I have her. 
Hotdog. <laughs> Come here, Allie. So I'm planning a tr I'm planning to bring Sophie's friend. I'm planning to bring Elizabeth over in August and bring her horse with her. So like whenever they do a sleepover, they always do sleepovers. So I'm planning for them to have a sleepover and her horse come with her and then he can have a stall and he can have a field. We can like close off the dry field and he can be out there and they can ride. Now this if you loves trail riding, then she can, they can go off and do their own thing. But I saw a comment, somebody commented yesterday, a really nice person. Um, and was talking about Sophie having anxiety. And the truth is Sophie does not have anxiety. Anxiety is like a whole nother can of worms. She is a nerve, more of a nervous person like me. She doesn't have anxiety. I definitely don't have anxiety. It's kind of like for us, it's kind of like, you know how women will sometimes get inside their heads and worry about things that haven't even happened yet. It's kind of like that. It's not even to an excessive level. Her past years about riding have never been about anxiety. They've been based on things that have happened to her. So like she's just been, she's a bit nervous, but not excessively. And she still has ridden through all of it. She has ridden always through it. She enjoys riding, she loves riding, she doesn't have anxiety about riding, and she never ever had anxiety about riding. What you saw over the past was her working through fears that were based on legitimate things. Like horses are moving animals that have a mind of their own and and that is definitely something that can cause fear in anybody so anyway that's that's all i want to say about that i just wanted to explain that to you guys because it's so hard to portray things in the right way for everybody to understand them but anyway the barn is cleaned up again i have so many things i want to do this summer. you're going to the sales barn yeah. all right how are we getting her out because she's still in the house through that gate. I, I opened that gate. Well, this is interesting. Honey, uh, honey is in the goat field. I don't mind her being in there as long as she can get out. I know where she got out. Probably that fence. Probably through that fence. Oh, yeah. So. Where's Willow? I don't know where Willow is. But anyways, she probably got through that little fence there. Because it's wood. It's not put up. Hey, honey, you got all the... I wanted all the horses in here anyways. Maybe we should just open that up for the horses. No, because the goats need a place to go. The goats are in here. They're up at the barn. I know, but... Goats are up at the horse barn and the horses are down here, so... Yeah, well, we'll leave Honey here for now. We'll come back and move her. Honey. Honey, you're going to get fat on all this grass just for you. She's a good weight, though. Just for you. There's a goat and a pig. On both sides of me. I know. You're friendly. <laughs> they like you. We are at the sales barn. We got Gabby here. Sophie's outside. We are at the sales barn. It's Tuesday. And let's see what they got. We're in. We're in and there's lots of baby cows. Lots of baby cows. And big, oh, big pigs. Look how big they are. I'm glad ours don't get that big. Horses, lots of sheep. Oh. Lots of sheep. There's some little ponies. There's some ponies. And there's a nice little pony. They're tinier than the other one. They're like minis, aren't they? Like minis. We can't go down right now because they're moving all the pigs. Moving the pigs. But we'll go down soon and see them. Look at these little guys. Our oh, babies. They are boys. You're, boy. boy. You're, you're pretty friendly. Came to me. Came to me. Is this a boy or a girl? This could be dad's. This could be dad's work. What? Boy, you're gelding. I don't think it's gelding. Sophie's in love with this pony. And I think it's got testicles. It's a stallion. A stallion. A stallion. All right. Wonder 
how much he'll go for. Check his teeth. Check his paws. His boobs. I can't tell. It's a cow giving birth over there and they're trying to pull it out. They got hooks. Hooks and everything and they're trying to pull it out. Came out. Okay, so it's really hot in that barn. It's hot outside too. Anyways, that was a boy and it wasn't a gelding. Because you could see the... He was a stallion. Just see that. It was a stallion. Yeah, that's right. It was a stallion. Um, I don't know. if I think it was like young. Yeah, it looked young. looked young because the thing hasn't really descended yet. And, <laughs> and it was small. So... I mean, he could be gelded and then, but he was really friendly. I couldn't, I said, I, I try. I thought I was recording. I said, come here, come here. And it came straight to me. I don't know if I caught that on video or not. And then as we were leaving, we saw a cow giving birth and it was stuck. And they have, um, they have the Ontario Ministry vets. They come here every auction every week uh so i guess they they check on vaccinations and stuff but i mean they're here to check cows too anyways one was giving birth and we saw them like put this neat contraption that puts it against the the butt of the cow and it hooks onto the feet and then it's like a winch and it pulls and pulls as it's pushing the butt and it came out pretty quick after that right it just came right out after that too far away couldn't get good video or else i'd show you it it was pretty neat but yeah cow giving birth that's interesting don't you know that you